morning awake and I showered. I washed my hair. Um, and now I want to go back to sleep. I have a lot I have to do this morning. I want to do some dishes. I gotta wash some of the thermoses. Um, I want to organize the back of my car. And I found this awesome like Chinese food place to shoot at. They were non-vegan a couple years ago and then they went vegan. And they basically just serve like American Chinese food. I think it's cool and I want to support. I saw some other places I could go to in Charlotte, but I don't know. This one made me excited, so I want to go here. I'm wearing the turtleneck that I bought day before yesterday at Goodwill. I'm going to be putting another shirt on top of it, but when I put it in the washer dryer, which by the way, maybe I shouldn't have put it in the dryer since it's a fancier shirt, but who knows. I have to de-lint it. My uncle doesn't have a lint roller. I think that thrift was a success. It's like such a nice little stretchy material too. Oh no, it rained on my camper. Poor little baby. I tried to move the stupid coffee while I was making it and I spilt it all over my shirt and my pants. I just washed them. The coffee that thing makes is so strong, so freaking strong, and I like strong coffee. It's almost too strong for me. Now I gotta organize my stuff. Clean clothes. This is my clean clothes tub, so I'm just gonna put what fits into the tub into the tub. I wonder if the stain came out those jeans. Ah, you know what? Like, you can still kind of see the stain. It's right there. But like, I'd still wear them. Honestly, that's not so bad. I haven't recorded, but I've been taking vitamins on this trip. I have been forgetting some days, but I have like an immune boosting one. And a D3 so I don't get depression. It works sometimes, maybe, I don't know. My stop tonight is in Richmond, Virginia, okay? And I just looked up, and I just looked up the weather tonight, like how cold it's gonna be, so I know. It's gonna be 27 degrees. <laughs> Do you remember the night I woke up like so incredibly freezing? I think it was like 48 or 50 degrees that night. 40, I don't know, high 40s, 27 degrees. <laughs> okay, my uncle said he's gonna let me borrow his like really warm sleeping bag. So I accepted. Uh, worst case, I'm just gonna put hot hands all over my body. Okay, I think I procrastinated the maximum amount of time I could procrastinate, which means I have to leave. It's just very cold and rainy outside. <sighs> Let me get my stuff ready. I wanna go back to Florida. Come on, vamanos. Everybody, let's go. I'm looking forward to going home tomorrow, I think. I mean, I've been really enjoying this trip, but I think I'm looking forward to being home. I'm here, about to shoot a video. I'm so hungry. I'm really looking forward to this. I'll see you after. Pretty typical. <gasps> oh, wait, the food's coming. Oh, thank you. That looks so good. Literally just out of the fryer. It's so hot. Oh. Ah. Hold up, hold up. This place does vegan donuts? Okay, I just finished shooting at Mama Walk and honestly it was great, great idea. But check out this um, other little home I found. It's like metal peanut and four times its size. Anywho, so I ended up eating so much in there. I don't know if I want to get a donut. But part of me just wants to check it out. I want to try it. Just like two bites. See if they're any good or not. See if they're worth recommending or not. Let's go. I don't know if they're both vegan and gluten free or like they have those two options separately. We'll see. Oh my goodness. Which are the vegan donuts? Holy what? What is the giant thing on the bottom? Oh my god. Can I get a strawberry and a cookies and cream? Yeah. 
donut taste test time. Uh, let's start with strawberry first. Now, they're not any Revolution donut, but the donuts are really big for the price. They were $3.75 each, and they are kind of massive, which is cool. Cheers. Strawberry flavor is very, like, artificial strawberry, but look how fluffy that is. The texture is really good, a little bit oily, but honestly, a solid donut. Now, this flavor is more up my alley. I like chocolate things, so this one's an Oreo one. Okay, let's go. Oh, I thought the frosting on top would be more, um, like, hard, but it's, like, it's still creamy. It's still, like, filling. This one is better than the strawberry one. Mm-hmm. Eight and a half out of ten. I really like the top part. It's still creamy. I kind of just want to eat the top part. That's my meal for the day. I am so full. Also, I haven't been able to find my sunglasses recently, and that kind of stresses me out because I love those sunglasses. Three hours and 33 minutes to go. So far, I have found nothing cool on the road except for a flea market that was closed today. Two hours, 58 minutes to go. The sun is setting. My butt is going numb. All right, two hours and 40 minutes to go. My eyes are getting soggy. I just stopped at a Love's. I don't need anything. I just need to not drive for a while. I've decided that I'm gonna entertain myself by walking into Love's and buying the weirdest thing that I can find. I'm not really hungry. I don't really want food. To shower five. Oh, these were such a disappointment. Remember when I tried these in the airport going to Toronto? <laughs> what? This fridge magnet. Wow, okay. You know what I would get? If they had the new Starburst vegan gummies. I doubt it, but it'd be cool. Look at these. They're Starburst minis and they're unwrapped. You just eat them like tiny little bitty baby Starbursts. Love's brand water. Didn't know they did that. Maybe I can get a cool drink. I have never seen Arizona this big. 34 ounces, wow. Settle this debate, Roberto and I have. The brown chips. The brown chips. Are they the best part or the worst part? Because I think they're the best part. And Roberto thinks they're the worst part. But honestly, if I could eat a whole bag of just the brown chips, like the brown chips in the Chex Mix, I would. Aw, this one's kind of cute. Nothing intrigued me. Time to eat advent calendar chocolate with Roberto. Hello. What day is it today? Cheers. Cheers. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Two and a half hours to go. One hour to go. I actually don't want to go straight to the Cracker Barrel. I want to go somewhere else first to kill a little bit of time and maybe have some dinner. Because I don't want to get to the Cracker Barrel as it closes. I want to get there like way after so I don't have to see anybody. I'm in Richmond, Virginia. All I know is that I'm hungry and now that I'm at the Planet Fitness, I can at least go there to brush my teeth and wash my face and change my jammies. But first, we eat. I kinda wanted to eat the grits from a couple days ago, or yesterday, was that yesterday? But it would not taste good cold. So I'm eating this leftover breakfast sandwich. It has tofu scramble, some cheese, some mushroom bacon, So that breakfast sandwich was from Gnome Cafe in Charleston. This fruit is from Jack's Beach Brunch House in Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> oh wait, and this water is from Slutty Vegan in Atlanta, Georgia. There's flesh on my camper. While I was driving here, I drove over very fresh mounds of roadkill. It looked like a bear, like a small bear. It didn't look like a deer. Anyway, it was very lumpy and disgusting and I like let out an audible like Bleh, as I drove over it. But now that I'm parked, there's chunks of it on my camper. There's small chunks, but it's still pretty gross. It looks like watermelon, but that's, that's flesh and blood and gunk and guts. 
The best I got for now is a wipey. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, no, oh, it's sticking, it's sticking. Ew, 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 ew. I saw some no loitering signs at the Planet Fitness parking lot, so we're heading to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I haven't been this nervous to sleep in the camper. Oh, these wires. I haven't been this nervous to sleep in the camper since like one of the first few nights, and that's because I've never had to sleep in here below freezing. My uncle gave me a sleeping bag. I don't know if I told you. He said that it's good for cold weather. I'm also gonna keep this jacket on. I have a hat on. I have hot hands in my socks. Um, I'll be okay. I know I'll be okay. Um, but I'll let you know how it goes in the morning.